Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good midday, good all the days to everybody. Um, I am Miss Burton. I currently teach math intervention, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Okay, and I'm going to talk to you today about subtraction with regrouping. Um, my your third graders should already be doing this. Okay, at a pretty basic level, two digit by two digit. Um, your fourth graders and your fifth graders as well, they'll be doing this as well. Okay, so let's look real quick about subtraction with regrouping. With my kiddos that I typically see, I typically see kids are having trouble with stuff, okay? So I try a different way to teach things for them. Um, I'm gonna show you, and a lot, of, a lot of times kids don't want, they wanna know why, why am I doing that? I don't understand why I'm marking off the five and making it a four. I don't get it, I wanna know why. Oh, that's legit, that's legitimate. Let's show them why. Okay, so this is how I sh teach my kids or introduce this to my kiddos. Um, and if you are struggling, think back as to what you're doing and why you're doing it. Okay, sometimes we start crossing off numbers without even knowing what we're doing. So I have um, these base 10 blocks right here. Okay, so my students will remember that this is a unit. Okay, or a ones block, and it takes 10 of these to make one of these, okay? And this is a tens rod, and if you will stack 10, which we do in class, okay, you'll get 10 of these, okay? So today we're just gonna talk about ones and tens. That's as far as we're gonna go. So I'm gonna represent on my board, <clears throat> excuse me, the number 53, because that's the number we're gonna be subtracting from, using base 10 blocks. I'm gonna represent a 10 with just a line. So for example, the number 53 has five tens, five, 10, I'm sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? And three ones, and I'm gonna represent the one, this little block with just a dot or a little tiny circle. All right. So we have the number 53 represented in base 10 blocks as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. Okay, now our job is that we wanna subtract 26 from 53. So I'm gonna write 26 down here, okay? Now we're gonna ask our students, this is how I teach my kids. Can I do three minus six? Can I take away six of something if I only have three to give? Okay, and the answer is no, okay? I can't give you $6 if all I have is $3, but I can, because I'm a nice person, right? I'm a nice ones place. I can go to my neighbor, the tens place, and borrow, okay? So that I can give you six, okay? So this is what that looks like. Hey, neighbor, tens place, do you have 10 to spare? Sure. Okay. He's going to give you a whole set of 10. Remember, your 10's place is this, right? It's 10 ones all stuck together. When we cross the line, we disperse into 10 little ones. So what this looks like, right on a board, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and this goes away. We're just exchanging it for ones. I've also modeled this with actual physical, um, fake, dollar bills. $10 bills, $1 bills. If you don't have enough ones, you have to go to the bank, get it, and exchange your 10 for 10 ones. Okay? So what does that look like here? What we just did was that look like here. What it looks like is we don't have five tens anymore. Now we have one, two, three, four, or 10, 20, 30, 40. So this five becomes a four. And what does my ones place look like now? Now I have the three ones I already started with plus the 10 more I added. So now I don't have any, I don't have three ones. Now I have 13 ones, okay? So far so good? All right, now we're gonna physically subtract six ones from my 13, okay? So let's take away six. One, two, three, four, five, 
6. And what do I have left? I have 7. Okay? 13 minus 6 is 7. Okay? And I have 4 tens, and I take away 2 tens, so 1, 2, and I have 2 left. And 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay? Now, this might seem silly, moms and dads, but really for your brain to really understand why you're doing it and what you're doing, it really, really helps, sorry about that light, to draw it out, physically build it. We spend lots of time with blocks in my classroom, building numbers, manipulating stuff. Um, okay, you're, you're tactilely touching things, you're drawing things. The more you do it and the more ways you do it, the better you're gonna get at it, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Okay, if you have any questions, please email me. Again, my email is listed in your Google Classroom or in my Intervention Google Classroom. If you don't know how to get into my Google Classroom, you can email your teacher, but I also posted it on your math um, Google Classroom, okay? All right, have a great day, everybody.